for a taste of sweet, 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 clean speed. Cause life is too short to be slow. Don't make trouble. Be trouble. But there's smoke, there's fire. Blue moon, red menace, purple force. It's us, After making waves in Tokyo, Sydney, and Paris, their next stop is on your doorstep. Night City, expect the unexpected. Mr. Stern, all night. Try out our freshly developed community. NCPD, open up! Barry! We know you're in there! We're here to help! Don't talk no fucking warrant! Cut the bullshit! Just open up! We came here as colleagues, nothing else. Haven't heard from you in a while. We're worried. No. Now leave me alone. Congrats, Mendes. Way to be a prick. Oh, what? So I'm the bad guy? I'm not the one who's holed up playing the attention. You lost the He's not the first or the last. Hey, what's going on? I live right upstairs. So keep on living. Stop mining other people's biz. Mendez, hold on. It's his neighbor. Is there anything I can do? Maybe. You know Barry at all? More or less. I struck up a convo once or twice. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, Petrova. Barry's got nerves of steel. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Could you check on him when he's chilled down? Sure, why not? It's not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be touchy. Let's we'll see what I can do. Hey, Barry. Everything all right in there? I'm gonna take that as a yes. Uh, try again later. You blind or what?
Hey, look. Johnny, you see what happened? Something feels off here. You don't say. Don't mean the wreck. I mean the run. City's most courteous chauffeur ups and drives away from the scene of an accident.
what now? Call for backup, crack some heads open, drag the bodies inside. Hey. Here you go. No. This trouble? The net around me? You won't. You know it. I lost everything. Let me be you. plain. Again. Solve your own problems. Clean up you your own shit. Go fuck yourself. Be careful who you bargain with. Rogue, wanted to talk. It's okay. Hmm, not here, not there. Who are you? Name's V. And what is it you want, V? All these years, it's really her. Fucking Rogue, just kicking it back on a couch at the afterlife. Don't mess with her, she's got MRIs. The girl. See right through you. What was her gripe? Why don't you ask her? Might still be around, sniveling in a corner. Need your services. Gotta track a guy down. Mm-hmm. Anders Hellman. Hotshot engineer. Worked for Arasaka. Millisec. Anders Hellman. Pinpoint him for me? Huh. <laughs> Thanks. Jump in too soon. First, my help's got a price. Second and third. Dexter Deshawn. Jackie Wells. Tipa. Multiple bells ringing, V. Left a lot of bodies behind. Death walks in your wake. Chalk that up to bad luck? There's the bitch I know. Ask her about Sokka Tower. How they shot me up right in front of her. Wanna go through obits? Really? Fine. Johnny Silverhand. Zeroed inside our Sokka Tower. Before your very eyes. Got more if you want. Or we could just talk. Got balls on you, boy. Don't like that on everybody, but they seem to see you. Anyways, feelings be damned, I've always said. This is pure biz. You need my help, so get those eddies ready. Mm -hmm. See? Uh-huh. And if I don't have the scratch, it's fuck off and have a nice day? No. More like come back when you do. Them's the brakes. Mm hmm. Then see ya. Soon. You know where to find me. Hey, interested in some work? Cargo transport. Get from A to B, quick and quiet. Interested? I'm listening. It's simple. You go to the Kabuki waterfront, collect the package, give me a call, then I tell you how to deliver it. Very straightforward. Yeah, everything is at my pay. Don't worry, there's a bonus setting for you. Imported and duty-free. Duty-free and detail-free. Yes, but altogether fair. It's a simple job, generously compensated. You accept? Yeah, sure, I'm in. Good, I knew we'd find something to turn. Head to the Kabuki waterfront, then search for a fridge with the words, No Future. Once you locate it, collect what you find inside, then call me for further instruction. Till then, I guess.
LCPD got a call about a cyber psycho and actually sent a patrol this time, but it's been a few hours with no report back. Either those cops got scared and bounced, or... Anyway, could you check it out for me? Be much appreciated.
Oh shit. He's in rough shape, but alive. Let's hear what Dennis has to say. Hey, got a status? Find the package? He's a little worse for wear, but no issues. What's next? I prepared a car for you. Put the man in the trunk and head to Northside. The address is in the GPS. Okay. One more thing. Watch for tigers. They've got their sights trained on your new companion. Wait, wait, wait what? <clears throat> Ass all hung up.
Job's done. I see that. Well done. Excellent work. Holding in there all right, Hariyoshi? They need to give me hope. So who is this guy? He'll tell you his story. Hariyoshi? In Japan. Brain sergeant. Top of all. Good instinct. One day, Taiga Crow boss needs surgery. But boss die on table. Taiga Crows were very angry. I hide in boat. Swim to America. Here, Dennis saved me. But there is secret. I killed Taiga Crow boss on purpose. World best surgeon make no mistake. Early warning about the Tigers would have been nice. I had a hunch you'd manage this just fine. Given that you're here now, I see I was right. This is all very heartwarming, but you haven't paid me yet. I know, here. May this blade serve you well. What's your name again? Green Sanjon to World Best. Good to instinct. Where are you from exactly? Green Sanjon to World Best. Psycho attack, all confirmed. Even reported to Max Tech. Thing is, nobody's gonna show because Militech shut it right down. You ask me, Psycho's gotta be one of theirs. My Eddies are on Lieutenant Mower. Anyway, Corporal's gonna go straight into treatment. So make very, very sure you keep her in one piece.
or obstruct an NCPD officer performing their official duties. They should pay him a visit. Hey, watch your tongue. No, come on. nothing? Barry, am I remembering that right? Who is it? V, your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about Prem rides. Back then, you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. Don't forget a gunk thing like that. You gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? I just want to see what was shaking. Friends say you never leave your unit. Think I've got an inkling as to why. I've seen that look before. It's all too common among people like us. Us? <laughs> you don't look like a cop. Badges don't get a monopoly on loss. You see death every day in my line of work. Then you get used to it, of course. Until it hits someone you're close to. <laughs> you too. Come in. I lost someone close to me, too. A damn good friend. What do you mean, too? Wait. This about Andrew. He, uh... Told you about him. Best bud I ever had. Known him my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes. According to him. Well, you told him about Andrew. Honestly, I thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Better that way. Can you tell me how Andrew died? Does it matter? Normally. From old age. It's no wonder, seeing as he was only a few years younger than my grandma. Dying of old age? In Night City? That merits a monument. The whole world should gaze up at it in awe. <laughs> Ashbox and the niche will have to do. So then Andrew is more like a grandpa to you than a friend? Hmm. Wouldn't go that far. He was like a... I don't know. A window into the past or something. He reminded me of my gram-grams. About our little talks. Time when everything had its proper place. You know? He was the last... living record... of those times. Mendez doesn't know shit about life. Everyone's got their limits, even him. He just hasn't reached them. Not like you. What if he's right, though? Maybe my genes are soft. Don't only the strongest survive. 
he felt nothing, that means his loss wouldn't have had any meaning. I guess so. Thanks for the talk, V. I am. Um, I need time to take all this in. Sure thing. Take care. What's important? I may have found a solution to the problem we share. I have established a contact with an old friend from Arasaka. He's here in Night City now. He's well connected to certain influential people. gonna help us how exactly there will be a meeting you me and this friend of mine you will tell him what you told me the truth of events at the Kompiki Plaza I have little hope that he will be convinced but it will be a start of all people you ought to know Night City tests everyone's reliability even that of old friends Sure about this guy? Trust him? Many times we have had the opportunity to kill one another. Yes, I trust him. Fine, where's the meet and when? Japan Town. After sunset. I am sending you the precise location. I'll see you there. Hey, look! Would you look at that? You see it too, right? Either gone completely whacked or I'm having a mystical moment. What's that chick's name? The one with the hair? Misty? Eh, more likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Or maybe I ask him both.
Akako Akata, the Lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find a moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts for Sandra Dorset. You did quite well, you and that friend of yours. Until then. Angelique Cosmetics, you can be anyone and have it. Listen to that guy. How'd you rate his chops? To my untrained ear, it sounds all right, I guess. I mean, it's easy listening at least. No why? Technique's second rate. But the feeling? That's what counts. Guy's hurt, got something he can't take, and it shows. Could stand a little more stage presence. Fingering's all wrong, loses the tempo more than he keeps it, but not bad. You really know how to give a guy a compliment. Is that how you got your start? Street busker with big dreams? Don't make me laugh. No time for playing my way to the top. Was too busy shaking the world awake. Being at the top can be worth it. You want to shake the world, you know. <laughs> well, the world's got to feel you first. And you pay for it. You spend your lyrics laying waste to the big record corpse. Who's going to sign you then? But give up your ideals, and no amount of eddies can buy them back. All right, princess. At least you played some gigs. It's all those memories of yours. True. Played where we could. Parks, old factories, underground clubs. Had an audience from the start. Some recorded our stuff didn't even know who we were. Ooh. You mean to say I could get my hands on some old samurai bootlegs? Well, I'm gonna find those tapes. I'm gonna shriek like a little fangirl anytime you open your mouth. Happy? Just you fucking try. Jokes aside, you think those tapes still exist? After all these years? Hmm. You know, Rainbow Cadenza's not far from here. Club we played till the band fell apart. Great spot. Place for people with their heads on straight. Maybe they'll know something. Pretty sure they turned your great spot into a slurp shop. Mindless fucking consumerism wins the day again. Point for the other team, huh? Huh. This is why you don't bring back fallen warriors. Sooner or later, they're gonna see everything they fought for is turned to shit. <laughs>
Cadenza mean anything to you? Oh no, another one. Aren't you too young for this? To what now? Every day, some sad grandpa in his old leather comes in here, asks where is his hey, old rainbow club. Yes, I'm and I'm you. like a broken record. Tell all of them the corp brought them out 20 years ago. I should put up a sign. Know anything about any bootlegs from the Rainbow Cadenza days? Like, say, I don't know, uh, samurai stuff? Samurai. samurai. Oh, that ugly red face on black? Yeah, even I know that one. Old guy comes by here sometimes wearing their shirt. Spends the whole time yakking with his psycho fan friends. Wouldn't happen to know where I could find him. You can find him living back in the 2020s. <laughs> but besides that, he's out there at the market. The Crystal Palace. Feel alive. What's he selling? Organic strawberries and cream. What do you think? Hey, he sells ancient man. dusty yes, tapes of ancient you. dusty indie bands. No one's heard of a single one of them. Preen, thanks. Hey. Hey, I'm looking for some good tunes. Got any laser pop? Some of muskrats. Don't sell no scop here. You either want good music or rainbow bright shite. Chill, chum. It's just a joke. <laughs> laser pop. Fucking laser pop here at my stand. I heard I can get some decent tunes here. What you mean by decent? We got Cartesian duelist, Urdine stuff, Tainted Overlord. Any samurai? Did you even got an ass? Never fade away. Dancing with my axe, chipping in, you name it, we got it. Silverhand was the one true messiah of rock. I'd hand them records out like candy if I could. But a guy's gotta eat. I see I found Silverhand's biggest fan. And proud of it. Today's bitty box rockers can't even touch it. Silverhand had something they couldn't make. Uh, a silver hand? He had that fire, kid. Fire! Guy shook the foundations of the corporal world. He died for his ideals. Doesn't matter, he was also kind of a terrorist. Blaze way down the rebel path. I'm looking for the real deal. Like, say bootlegs from Samurai's first gates. Fuck! First, you have got no idea what you're asking for. Not if you're so... so chilled about it. Don't know how you found out about them bootlegs, but forget it. I'm not gonna give them to the first gonk off the street. Hey, I ain't a poser. I know everything there is to know about Silverhand. Go on. Impress me. Know what he told Carrie the last time they met. Called him a pussy. Told him to stop being one. Yeah, sure. I could think up a million conversations they had. There were no witnesses. I used to, uh, come here back when it was still Rainbow Cadenza. Bootleg sure would make a nice souvenir of the good old days. Cut the scop. You're too young to remember the first samurai gigs. Weren't even a twinkle near daddy's Kiroshis. 
Hey, appearances can be deceiving. How do you know this pretty face ain't an implant? All right, Pop. Prove it. How'd Samurai's third ever dig in? Johnny, my dear expert, I'll put you now. I need a quick rundown of samurai trivia. Yep, third gig. Remember it like it was yesterday. Set my axe on fire, then smashed it on the stage. Crowd went wild. Well, can't wait all day. Easy. Johnny lit up his axe, then smashed it. Nope. Knew it. Who smashes their gear when they're just starting out? I mean, a new one costs eddies. Johnny, please, can you stop making my life harder? My life that's quickly running out. How am I supposed to give a witty response to that pathetic question? It's like kicking a puppy, a blind puppy. You always freeze up like this? Played our third gig at Cadenza. Little fire broke out. Some drunk gonks tried to put it out with beer. Denny's fro got singed, wore a wig for a few weeks. Never did get herself any tech hair. Uh, let me think. There was a fire. Remember those gonks who tried putting it out with beer? <laughs> I almost forgot. Her Johnny started it, actually. Tossed a cig that was still glowing. <laughs> Bullshit. That cig was Carrie's, no doubt. But hey, any troubles, Johnny's fault. Still don't believe you were there. But what the hell? Only a real fan could know something like that. Hey, anyways, gotta educate the youth. Maybe you'll find something special under the table. Gone. Have at it. Much appreciated. Take it. Spread the good silver hand word. Get the corpus. You know, they say time is the best teacher. Used to think that was true. But look at that guy. 60 at least, but still living in 2020. Guy's your biggest fan. You're not happy to meet him? Busaka Tower to smithereens, and it's still standing there. Just the same. Don't want people getting stuck in a rut, stuck in the past. Want them to change. Them and the world. It's been 60 years. Something must have changed. Know what changed? The damn facade. Fresh interface plugs, new high fructose scop syrup, and fun fruity flavors. A new face of Arasaka, same old shit, different packaging. Something's changed. Maybe we can't see it, but it's changed all the same. Sure, now almost nobody remembers when a person wasn't just a meat bag full of secondhand implants.
way I see it, only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. What if I miss this time? Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence, we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Our sock and the tiger claws are in bed together. Go figure. Every corp plays dirty, except the streets are more than that. They're filled. So the corps leave it to the gang. Suits collars get soiled. Surprised? No, I mean. The cost of this cutting edge therapy treatment has been listed at $700,000 per month for the second consecutive week. Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? So how's this all work? An algorithm pilots the doll's motor functions. It takes your profile data and transforms into experiences in real time. Memory dampers on the doll's behavioral chip block any recall of the session. So there'll be no trace of the meeting. Well, I could say yes, but that would strip it of mystery and suspense, wouldn't it? Once you're in there, you set the stakes. You're saying it's not dangerous, but there's some risk involved. That is one way to put it. One thing is for sure. You never get what you expect. Consider my interest piqued. How could you possibly know what I'm looking for? Clouds always knows. Your deepest desire? We find it. You'll have your needs fulfilled. And maybe much more. Less is not a word we use around here. Looking for Evelyn Parker. She work here? Hmm... Give me a moment. Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I'm not a customer. Well, all the more reason to be excited. There's a first time for everyone at Clouds. It's no reason to dawdle. All you need to do is jack in. We'll create your personal profile and you'll be good to go. Huh. I'm sorry, did she finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu, let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. Meaning? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Afterlife. And saved. Now, bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. Two matches. Interesting. Is that normal, or...? Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with... unique tastes. Our system can handle it. So who will it be? Angel or Sky? Rather go with Sky. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. 
There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. Is that it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. We hope Sir, you enjoy your stay. Go eat a dick, Johnny. Guess that makes you a real deviant. You must be... Vincent? Silent. V. Why? Just V. Only people who know me real well can use my real name. Okay, then. V. Welp. Looks like this will be interesting. So, V, you're dying. How'd you know I'm dying? Deep inside, you fear this. Cower before it. So what if I do? Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. Look around. All of this is your doing. There's something in those mirrors. Way back. It's a projection. Your inner landscape. Just what I needed. Therapy with a robo-hooker. I'm not here to analyze you. That's not something I do. I'm here to fulfill your deepest most hidden desire. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. I asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. You just gonna talk in circles? That it? I can't help you if you don't want to be helped. What's next? Meditation? Something like that. Try me. Just answer my question. Tell me where Evelyn is. Don't have time for a debate. Why the manager say she doesn't work here anymore? When was Evelyn last here? You know anything. Evelyn had her own story before it collided with yours. But I know you'll find her. You always get your way. Think you know me well? Okay. Tell me what I'm so afraid of. It's something you don't talk about. Everybody's entitled to secrets. Got my own with good reason, too. Say it. Say it out loud. Not for me, but for yourself. I snuffed it once and I'm gonna do it all over again. Got no idea how to stop it. There. Happy? You're scared because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? Still want to be the best. Never gave up on that goal. 
Chances of getting there is starting to look pretty slim, though. I just want the world to know that I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased, as if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different? The people I've lost live on in my thoughts. And that's what I'll be. A memory. Or just an annoying little voice in someone else's head. You don't see death as destruction. The end. But as a change. That thought alone could save your life. I think I might just be... afraid. So I imagined these things to distract myself from the thought of... the void. Because that's about what greeted me before. Fear is your most effective weapon in the fight against death. So what now? Now... You find out what it is you need to do. Which is... You're gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should've. You go through Night City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action. Going where you needed to go. And it won't stop you now. But how do I keep up with everything that's changing? You have been keeping up. You've made an impact. A single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never look back. If you gotta kill, kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it burn. Thanks, uh, for all this. Jeez. Don't even feel like getting up. Few do. But everything has its end. Afterlife. Oh, what's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. Need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? A lot of things been going on in my head lately. This was... different. Refreshing. That's what we do at Clouds. I get why people come here. Come back. But I need something else. Evelyn Parker. What do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No. You gotta help me. Please. I'm no threat, but she could be in trouble. Just wanna talk to her, find out if she's okay. In case you haven't noticed, doll work's not the most secure job in the world. One day you're in, the next you're out, and maybe gone. Anything out of the ordinary happened here lately? Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her, but that's all I know. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. 
Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. A customer attacked her? I guess. I don't know. Real mess that was. Security barged in, handled it. Things went silent. You don't go around asking questions here. Better off not seeing, not hearing. Keeping your head down. Where did it happen? Her booth. Told you. She was with a client. Gonna just stand there or tell me a number. Eleven. This booth occupied now? Nah. I think it's been out of order since... Um... Need to get inside that booth somehow. Yeah? And do what? None of your biz. Can you open it or not? Sure. Just don't bother me again. Ever. Talk to Tom. Who's Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think, an XBD star? Where will I find him? VIP area. Booth 2, I think. Thanks. See? You turn out to be useful after all. I can't get in? What's that mean? I'm here every motherfucking week! You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes, I am! No, sir, you're not. You can take it up with the manager. No, dog. I'm taking it up with you. Here, now. You got any idea who I am? This gonk don't understand that I've got a right to be in there. From what I can see, your VIP membership has been revoked. Say what now? Please stay calm, sir, or we're gonna have to escort you outside. Oh, no shortage of wise asses. I'll see. You going back upstairs? In a minute. I need to piss first. Yeah. Second floor is for VIP customers only. Keep this short and sweet. Hi. Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure. Uh, I don't have your details. Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. You sure you're? I need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Tried calling her a bunch of times. No luck. You mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so... I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Where can I find this Woodman? Probably got his feet up in the back office. Except it's off-limits to customers. Woodman, who is he? Mr. Forrest. But everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest then. What's his thing? He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got it. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges in these dolls. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing.
Let's take a look, shall we? Blood. Fresh. Not too much. Put it to a wound rather than a kill. this. Well, Klein wasn't the one who flew off the handle. Something bitter in the ass. What do you think? Cyberpsychosis? Sounds crazy, but she could have been remotely hacked. A netrunner? Weird. What do you want? Huh? Chill. Keep calm. No. I'm looking for a girl. Okay, Cap. Interesting word choice for oh, someone who plowed know. through, massacred all along the way. Things got out of hand, I'll admit. But cooperate, and no one else will get hurt. I don't negotiate with terrorists. Well, aren't you the king of fuck-ups? You're not helping. Now what? Hell, why don't you just scan the truth from his gray, lifeless eyes? Or scour his cop? That just might work.
sold her off to a ripper. Ship was busted. Could have sent her to get it patched up. A ripper named Fingers in a back alley for hookers. Sounds like a Joy Toy's wet dream. Applying for the diplomatic corps? That's infidel. You think Fingers got her? I think we'll find her there. V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. Not latex. That's so hard to understand. Where you got me, Right. No feeling going on, no thinking, no awareness. Don't have time to massage egos. I respect that. <laughs> of course you do. You'd have loved to have dropped the H-bomb in this place. No need to go so OTT. I've got other methods. One thing's for sure, though. Claus won't forget this. condition to find help. Oh, fuck! 
the hell is that? No, no, damn it! Jesus, the fuck do you want from me? It's all going too slow. Gonna decommission before we learn how to rip the chip out. Wanted me dead. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. Asked you already. What the hell you want from me? I got a get out of jail free card. I'd be a fucking fool not to take advantage. See, me and Arasaka, we got a half century old score neat settling, and I plan to do it. That's what I need you for. Never been recruited into a terrorist cell before. Feel Listen, kind of honored, I actually. know things. Where we can save your life, who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need, and Makoshi's how we grab it. You know you're just an irritating hallucination, right? Should just ignore you. And you're a walking corpse. Should just wait till your mind shrivels to nothing and frees up space for me. You fucking asshole. But as should be obvious, I've decided to help you. Need to find something first. Seven letters. Starts with an M. Okay, so... This Makoshi, what is it exactly? Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI, to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Following so far? Sure. That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Mikoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of, where it stores its victims' engrams. Still don't see how Mikoshi's linked to my chip problem. Not the brightest bulb on stage, are you? Fifty years back, ops on the human mind. Makoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. And, uh, how you plan to smash Arasaka this time? Got another nuke tucked away? This time bombs named Alt Cunningham. I'm supposed to know who that is? Not yet, but you will once we find what we need. For now, we got no time to lose. Need to get inside, Makoshi. I called, didn't I? Promising's one thing, keeping it's a whole other bag. So, managed to learn anything? Evelyn's not at Clouds anymore. Behavioral chip was damaged. Apparently they carted her off to a ripper dock, goes by fingers. Oh shit. Know where to find this fingers character? Yeah, runs a dicky chop shop off Jig Jig Street. Fuck me. Guys, all kinds of bad news. Heading there now, to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from clouds. Oh, all right, later, V. Thank you. 
beyond official police jurisdiction to wear a bulletproof vest at all times. One step closer. Here to see who. When your hunger is wild, a race to slaughterhouse. Looking for a ripper doc. Goes by fingers. Know where I can find him? Who's asking? Why? Got a problem with an implant. Not from around here. I couldn't find another ripper in the city to patch you up. Bird Fingers was the best. Yeah, the best for joy girls. Are you a whore? An escort. For special tastes. Looking for a ripper who can cater to my special needs. Good. Fingers will like you. Let him through. No, no. Oh, I'd, gracious I'd creature! And, and benign! Don't turn off the lights! Because, it's summer! It's rain! You bloody stain! Improve! Hit me for a friend that came! Hello! Oh, Take a court. I'm ready to him! Shut for a night, please! All right! All right, I get it! Everyone's got their breaking point. Just pay me what you owe me! Hey. And you go fuck off! Hello! There's a line! Nuh-uh, you ain't cutting. Sit your ass down and wait your turn! Fingers guy, you know him? Heard some things, yeah. Like? His hand sometimes slips. Glad to see a familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. After the heist, Evelyn hold up with the mocks for a while, right? That's right. So why the hell she go back to Clouds? <sighs> Thought she'd be safer there. God knows why. Tried to get her to see straight, but she wouldn't listen. You talked to Fingers yet? If only. He's harder to get in to see than the best docs in town. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls, see if we can cut in front? Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. You worked at Clouds. Not as a doll. Tuned their virtues. That's where I met Ev, Tom, and the rest of the crew. She means a lot to you, doesn't she? And you've arrived at that conclusion how exactly? Moment you knew where she was, you sprang into action. Once you get close to Evelyn, you never want to let her go. I think Evelyn's been kept here somewhere. On the one hand, hope she is, because I want her back fast. But on the other, hope to God, no. Because who knows what that sick fuck could have done to her. You see a woman with blue hair around here? Had a doll chip. Uh, think I know who you're talking about. 
Fingers worked on her, sure. She's still here? No idea. Gotta ask him. I need to talk to him. It's important. You think we're just here to polish our nails, huh? I'll let you cut in front of me. You're a real pain in my cleat mitts, you know that? And you might as well knock and find out when he's mopping up. Supposed to be a goddamn clinic. Not in any of your blondrette. Go on now. Don't you worry about her. Come on, let's go. Edges are stretching your optic nerves. Don't worry. Your eyes are just... We going in? Eventually. Yes? Hello? What can I do for you? Need a minute of your time. A minute? That's all? Shame. Could watch those juicy lips of yours flap for hours, days. <laughs> but I'm busy right now. You tiger claws! Far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the Mox. The Mox? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? Evelyn Parker. I need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, Added, to feel like, like they deserve it. Of course, I... Something wrong? Went jittery as soon as I mentioned her name. Don't try getting out of this. I know you remember her. I, I have a neurological condition. It's not easy living with ticks. Really, I'd love to help, but if only I knew who you were talking about. What about your logs? Gotta have some kind of record. Tech like this, you don't register. Don't put any names down for it. Blue hair, doll chip, best brain dance gear ever, though damaged. Was she here? Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. You mentioned you couldn't help her. Help her with what, exactly? If I only knew, I wager she'd be standing here, happy and smiling. Instruction register on her chip was burnt to a crisp. Tried replacing it. Nothing. Damage was caused by a netrunner using homebrewed malware. Sounds about right. Get to the point. The point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now, either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. Don't talk to her like that. She insulted me! Look, the quicker you spill, the shorter you'll have to put up with us. Now, Evelyn Parker, where is she? Could very well be on her way to becoming the next underground brain dance, darling. That's all I know. What do you mean by underground? I don't know. I mean, I don't watch that sort of stuff. Snuff? XBDs? I told you I don't know. You sure about this? Four days I had her here. She was out cold in La La Land. 
for practically every minute. It wasn't a slumber party. We didn't have pillow fights and promise to send each other postcards. Where we find her? How many times do I have to repeat myself? I don't know. I, I did what anyone in my place would do. When I realized I wouldn't be able to help her, patch her up, I called my fixer. Two guys came and picked her up the same day. Who'd you call? Who's your fixer? Wakako. Told her I had a busted doll with a BD implant to hand off. Where did they take her? I told you already. I don't know. They weren't the talkative kind, and I'm no gunk. I know better than to ask questions of people like that. You're no gunk? What do you think? Why'd all these girls come in here, let you grope around them? Think it's for your charm? Your caring attitude? They do it because they got no choice. And in the end, they despise you. They can smell you pathetic. These guys, what do they look like? Like you, me, anyone else in this city. Really now? They look like you? They look like the kind of guys you don't make eye contact with. One of them was a bearded fellow. The two that came for her. Didn't say anything about where they were going to take her, what they were going to do to her. Mentioned something about virtues with a moth, of all things. Said she'd be perfect for them, whatever that means. But that's really all I know. You ponder off like she was some fucking inanimate mannequin. Because that's exactly what she was. Need air. I'll be outside. Judy's right. People like you make this city a living hell. Day in, day out. Got what you wanted, didn't you? So get the fuck out of here! Let her go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. Trust me, Judy. Compared to the pieces of shit I scrape off my shoe every day, Fingers doesn't come close to being half their brand of rotten. Got no fucking words, V. None. Don't worry. We'll find her, I know it. We'll fucking find what's left of her butchered corpse. Hey! Keep it together. You wanna give up now? No. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the Death's Head. It's better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. Death's Head symbol bring anything to mind? Anything. Doesn't matter how small. This industry... I mean, market's looking for every kind of fetish out there. It's cavernous. But an XBD outfit would be on the move almost always. Makes them harder to nab, harder to sting. Need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. It could be we'll see something to point us in their direction and one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Got a better idea. Matter of fact, I do. A domain called Pleasures of Night City. There's a twin of it on the dark net. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. Let me think for a sec. Darknet Domain. That's our best bet. Let's stick to the plan. Fine. Here's hoping you turn up something useful. I'll wait in the van.
Looking for some company tonight? Well, you found it, baby. We go somewhere, or is this a dark alley type party? I ain't no scuzz ass slut. I got my own place. and fake IDs tried to slink past all cool and like it was nobody's bid. I told them to spin. Made their way round back. Bad food and those guys. Unless they were itchy and deep. What's your problem? One of those kids bumped into his mama. She told the fam she worked at a hotel. Rough stuff, huh? What do you recommend? Clear, you don't need to yell. What's up? Doing a little competition. Shoot, prizes and all. You know, over here with the range. <laughs> yeah, that it makes sense. Well, win? I didn't think big parties were your thing. Yeah, 
Well, it ain't a big one, but, you know, on a low on heads. I bring in the clients. Attract them and shit. Could try selling iron straight from the factory. Skip the whole part where you tinker for hours on each little shooter. Me, my dignity, please. Daddy, sure, I need I'm in. Time. When? I got a lot going on. Well, uh, right now. Listen, we'll wait on it. If anything, See you can take your shit back and force it on someone else. You, uh, got any real meat back there? You mean uh, from animals? Don't be ridiculous. Where is your Daddy, cute little you know, ass rush? What does this one do? Use your imagination. Why? Looking for, uh, something special. A brain dance to really... You mean smut? Nah, more hardcore. Won't find it here. But there's a guy on Jig Jig Street has a whole lot of peculiar flicks. And I mean peculiar. Come back some other time. Betting on it. How about you? You buying or just gonna stand there like a pig under cover? What have you got? Virtues. Any special kind? Well, let me put it to you this way. Those who know don't need to ask. Looking for BDs. A particular kind. Particular? You a badge? Give me the best of the best. The ones with the death's head. <sighs> Didn't know I was dealing with a connoisseur. Death's head'll cost you, though. I'm no connoisseur, trust me. <sighs> sure. All I need to know is who makes them and where. Now listen, I just sell whatever sells. Nice, calm job. Let me see some eddies, you can pick one. Parse it, and I won't care a hair. Where do you get these scrolls? People that make these? <laughs> Obsessed with privacy. Never even occurred to me to ask where they're from. To which caution I probably owe the fact that I'm still alive, talking to you. Got anything that might interest me? Pleasure doing biz with you. Got anything that might interest me? Get everything prepped. You make sure the wreath's snug on you. You'll watch while I edit in real time. The old one, too. Ready when you are. I want you to describe what you see. You might catch me. V, 
Editing mode's good to go. Get around all you want. Scav woman. <laughs> Who knew that sides chopping people up they were scrolling XPD? Ordered recently. Electric corp patch in the coveralls. Christ, it's hot. Thermal readings are off the charts. Keep looking. Coveralls had a patch on him. Electric Corp. Mm, could be a costume. A prop? Factory worker fetish? Hard as hell to believe. Hmm. It'd explain the higher thermal readings, too. You could be onto something. Poor fucker. Can't beat that rich synth got aroma. <laughs> Cheap shit. Cold, too. Mm hmm. Bucket slice. Ordinary box. Decker, Tanaka, Rogers. Coffee was cold. Standard for a trash heap. Okay. We're looking for an electric core power so? plant. Means someone's grabbing bucket slice regularly. Which is not something someone does with the flavor and fresh ingredients. Pizza shares its DNA with styrofoam. I'm just gonna schlep across town for it. Here we go. Old electric core power plant in Charter Hill. Gotta make do with this for now. Nothing else to garner from this scroll. No time to lose. We gotta go there. Definitely. Ride with me? We tackle a homegrown giant in defense. You guessed it. Militech. Let's get going. On our way. Half a million employees worldwide, profits in the hundreds of billions, capitalization on the order of some two trillion. But Still can't shake it. That virtue sample we saw with the Death's Head moth. If all they scroll is snuff, then... Stop it. They'd have to be utter gongs to waste her on something like that. What do you mean? We're talking about a girl who's not only a natural at what she does, but also has got a doll's implant. I mean, that's not a package you find lying out in the street. And the 
replaced Chris in the Oval Office? Rosalind Myers. Surprise, surprise, Militech's former CEO. Responsible for over 60% of contracts, the NUSA is far and away their largest customer. Though, in truth, these sales amount to no more than hidden government subsidies. This should raise a huge red flag for any investor with half a brain. Militech is something at the giant teeth that is the capital. Not sure Washington ever would have tried. sure where to shove all that cash on short notice. You can't go wrong with the Arasaka money machine. Stay and here we are. And make it ease, my friend. We going in? Until next Find time. us a way inside. I'll hang back, scan the subnet, see if there's any blueprints of the complex lying around. Join you as soon as I find something. Let's link on Hollow till then. All right. Going in. Something wrong. the blueprint. Be there in a sec. Try to find a way to the lower level.
heard shots. You still alive? I'm here. Got no time to creep around. Fuck it all! Found a way down. You see my position? Yep, be there in a sec. Wait for me. Lee, hold up. I'm close. I'm here. We need to get to level minus two. Bet that's where they're keeping her. That shirt. I know it. Hear that? Evelyn's? Without a doubt. We don't have enough missiles. Looks like snuffs are only the tip of the iceberg. Need to get into the hallway past this room. Okay. What about them? I can always just get rid of him my way. Your call. You've got to make it now. How do you know? I've seen his body. I know. He's the boss, isn't he? Take him out quick. I'll help. Oh, I got.
Cover me, I'm empty! Ah! <laughs> 
Close to the studio, I think. You find anything useful? Read up the elevator. It's gonna be easier to get out of here. You really don't fuck around, do you? Wait one sec for me. Alright, I'm here. Ah! Incoming! Evelyn, just don't touch her. If she's recording, you'll scramble her brain. Wait until I cut her link. I see her. Cable two. Grab it and tell me when you're gonna yank it. I'll break the link at my end at the same time. All right, let's do this. Wait for my signal. Here goes. Ready? Now! Thank God. Ev? Evelyn, you hear me? What's wrong with her? Honestly, I don't know. She's got to be seriously traumatized. Is she okay to be moved? No brain hemorrhages, damage to the spine? She doesn't seem to have any wounds. Guess we got no choice. Uh, hey, Evelyn. I need you to tell me who hired you. Seriously, V? You gotta do this now? Let's get her somewhere safe. Fast, too. Which way? I sealed the doors and managed to power the elevators. Elevators it is, then. Come on, is it really that hard? Please, just one. For me? Smoking's for posers, and it stinks too. Say whatever the fuck you want, but just light up. No. Non-smokers are the fucking worst. Just my luck. We going in?
Let's give him a couple. You saw how she looked. If it was up to me, I would have splashed some water on her face back at the studio and asked her straight up. It's not up to you, though, is it? Let's go. Oh, shit, not good. She's sleeping. Uh, at least I think she is. Her eyes are closed and she's not shaking anymore. I would have already killed her by now if I didn't feel so bad for her. How's she feeling? Use your imagination. That place sucked every last drop of humanity from her. It's not enough. She already gave up everything she had. I just kept taking more and more. She's in some kind of trance, like she's folded into herself. No reaction to her surroundings whatsoever. I really, really didn't want to poke around in her head. I did it for you. I just want you to know that. I need to talk to her. Listen, I know you've got some serious questions that she's got the answers to. I mean, if I were you, I'd want to know too. But it's just not gonna happen. She's completely out of it. You've got to be fucking kidding me. You're mad at her? Why? When you asked me to scour her behavioral chip, I was just about done dealing with your shit. Judy, I didn't have any I know. Other... It's okay. So I don't get why... You'll find out in a sec. I'll show you the virtue I found. How many BDs did you manage to rip? Two. Only one of them's intact. Understandable, though. The rest... Well, they're in the same shape as Evelyn. Guess you saw them already. Yeah. Had to wrestle to make sense of the whole thing. But I don't want to say anything and taint your perspective. You should go in with fresh eyes. Okay. Show me. Give me a sec while I set the parameters. Guess we'll find out if our doll really did lose her tune. Come on, V. I'll be the first to admit, this does not... Well now, look at you. Hey. How you feeling? You need anything? I'm not here to nag. Just talk. Listen, Evelyn. I really need your help. It's important. If I don't do anything, and do it soon, I'll die. I know it's a bad time, but I gotta ask. You got any idea how to remove the biochip? Or know anyone else who might? You're right. This is a complete waste of time. Have a seat. All right. Roll it. Data was in pretty rough shape. Not all that editable. Huh. Glad you managed to salvage them in the first place. Needs a second to load. Quality's lousy. But I did what I could. What am I looking out for? Take a look around if you want. Can't see your face. <sighs> Under normal circumstances, that kind of encryption's easy to crack. But not this time. Whoever she is, she's got serious net running skills. That, or someone's working it for her.
Hmm. I think I recognize these. What are they? Vive markings. You familiar with them? Not enough to know what they actually mean. Who might use them, though? Single piece of tech I see? Ooh. Security? Could be the Voodoo Boys, but that's just a hunch. Can't be 100% sure. The spine chilling Netrunner crew? Hard to find, because they don't want to be. I wouldn't know where to start. We need a layout of the whole room. We will get everything else we need from the Virtue. What about his messages? Only if you can do it and be parfait pour lui. It's most important that he suspect nothing. Try to be your usual relaxed self. And if he starts talking about the biochip himself? Might not be important. Maybe. But all of them are from Pacifica. Now it's down our search at least. What now? Looks like I'm going on a field trip to Pacifica. Should I... Bioship? Where you hear this? That is not of interest to you. You spin the virtue, you come back here. We give you the eddies. That is your one job. The rest is none of your concern. Understand? All right, think we got everything. What do you think? The woman who hired Evelyn. Any idea who we're up against? Your guess is as good as mine. Sorry, V. Now we know what happened to Clouds. They're the ones who tried to flatline her. Launched a nuke at her chip. So it was punishment? For getting played by her? She knew more than they thought she knew. Couldn't let that go. So that's who she was running from. It looks like Evelyn never told us the whole truth. You're telling me. If I'd known what she'd gotten herself into... Ugh, I'm so mad at her. Her only job was to record a virtue. It's pretty damn amazing she managed to organize a full-blown heist. And swiped a biochip from under her boss's noses. So that's where you came in. She hired you. And brought this all on herself. On you two. There's one more recording. Wanna see it? Sure, why not? Nothing can surprise me at this point. Oui, oui, allez. Nous t'es qu'une raison, moi, c'est tout intelligent pour ça, pour t'es bien. On n'est pas enragé. En plus, c'est plus bon moyen nous guérir. What language is she speaking? I don't know. Haitian Creole? It is the Voodoo Boys. Didn't I? Wait, let me see if I've got an auto translator. Meantime, you try to tune into the phone's frequency. See what the other side's saying. Got it. Give it a second. Heard her mention Yorinobu. Probably why Evelyn buried this recording deep. Cut another name. Something like... Silverhand? We have to know what they're saying. It could be important. Fine. Just found the auto-translate package. Should get along fine with your system. I'll install it now. Je 
que si le verán a menos no directo su alto. ¿Tú crees que un pibe en líder? Muy bien. Si yo decido si es un crítico que se me pensa, a continuar a hacer trabajo. Ok, Judy, we're good. All right, disconnecting. I don't get it. What's this have to do with Johnny Silverhand? He died, like, forever ago. V, you got any idea? The biochip we stole. It's, uh, it's got Silverhand's engram burned onto it. Engram? Digitized psyche. Personality construct. Can you give me a minute? I need to go over some stuff in my head. Uh, um, of course. Know who they are, who the woman is. Any idea how we find them? Fuck, V. I've been dead the last half century. Sorry if I'm unable to hand you all the answers on a chrome fucking platter when you snap your fingers. These people, what could they want from Alt? How the hell should I know? Got no notion whatsoever? One way or another, everything leads back to that net runner. Finding her is our biggest priority. If she knows as much as I think she knows about the chip, she can help us out. I thought you said nothing could help us. Nah, just find us that juju wirehead, okay? Wait, you got any idea how to get in touch with the Voodoo Boys? Why? Worried they'll give Evelyn up to him? No. I didn't trust you at first, but... Well, if you wanted to get back at Evelyn, you would have done it already. So why the worried look? I just... I want it all to work out for you. You got a plan? I'll ask around, make a few calls. Let me put it this way. The Voodoo Boys wouldn't trust a cat if it walked onto their turf. But someone's gotta know a way in. Well, good luck. I hope you won't need it. Thanks, Judy. No, V. Thank you. You're a... You're a good person. Evelyn could never see what was under people's skin. If she could have gotten to know you a bit better, then... Who knows? Things might have turned out differently. Make contact with the Voodoo Boys chief if you can swing it. All right, all right. Straight to heavy business. Hmm. Now, that'll be Maman Brigitte. Be tough getting a word into her. Maman Brigitte. And that sounds like a spooky cult alias. I've not had the pleasure of asking her personally. But it is what everybody calls her. Doubt the title has any real religious weight, though. Voodoo boys play pretty fast and loose with their Haitian heritage. Huh. I was led to believe you could arrange anything. Ah. Now that sounded like my third wife every time she wanted a new purse. You really don't do any biz with them? Not with the chefs, chefins, priests, and whatnot. All got dirigible-sized egos. Won't talk to lowly me. But if you insist, I can ask around, try to set something up. I'll just need some details first. Uh, got something they want. Truly? Want to sell something to the VDBs? Trust me, they don't want it, 
They don't need it. They're isolated, insulated. They got their own contracts, tech, networks. But, have it your way. Okay, I'll see what I can do and get back to you.